You just finished screen recording with Articulate Storyline. Now you want to publish the video to YouTube or perhaps put it into another presentation. You look for the video on your computer, but it's not there. Now what? Hi, this is William Everhart with eLearning Uncovered, and we have all faced this challenge. In this video, I'm going to show you a few ways to export your video content from Storyline. In my sample course, I've used the record screen feature to record a simple process in Microsoft Word. Then I place that screen recording in my first two examples as a video on slide. The only difference between these two examples is that I annotated the second one with captions. In my third example, I've placed the same screen recording as step-by-step -step slides in try mode. Now let's get to work exporting these videos. I'll start with the first example, a video on a single slide. Here, I select the video, then right mouse click to reveal a contextual menu. From this menu, I choose Export Video. I select the export location and choose Save. It's just that simple. Now the second example gets a little more complicated because I've taken the time to carefully annotate my video with captions. If I export the video as I did in the previous example, the annotations would not be exported with the video. In this situation, I turn to a publishing feature of Articulate Storyline 360. From the publishing types, I'll choose video. Now I can adjust the various settings to suit my needs. However, I have multiple scenes and multiple slides in this course. I really only want to publish the second example slide. So here in the properties, I select the entire project link and choose a single slide. Then I choose the slide with my annotated video and select OK to return to the published dialog. Now I select publish and the result is an annotated video ready for YouTube or other distribution platform. Finally, we come to the third example, a video I placed as step-by-step -step in try mode. Now, this feature splits up my video into individual steps and distributes them across multiple slides. This gives me even more possibilities when it comes to exporting video. Let's take a look. The first thing you'll notice about these slides is that you cannot select the video. That's because it's embedded into the slide. If I right mouse click on the slide, there are no export or edit video options either. Instead, there's an action fine tuning option. This allows you to determine which portion of the video will be displayed on this slide. Now I typically use this to hide a hover effect when mousing over buttons and hyperlinks in my recordings. In this action fine tuning dialog, there is nothing to indicate that I can export this video. Well, there is, but you have to right mouse click on the video preview to reveal another contextual menu. Take a look at those options. I can export the entire video or just this particular segment or clip of the video. Why, I can even export a single frame of the video at my project size or the original recording size. Isn't that great? As you can see, there are plenty of options when it comes to exporting video from Articulate Storyline. If I just want the video as I recorded it, I can do that with a simple export command. If I have annotated my video, I can use the publish to video feature of Storyline 360 to produce my video. And if I've used my video in a step-by-step -step scenario, I can export the entire video or the individual steps. And let's not forget, if I need image captures from my screen recordings, why I can do that too. I hope that this video tutorial has been enlightening to you today and that you can use these techniques in your own video publishing workflow. My name is William Everhart, saying stay healthy, stay happy, but most of all, folks, stay curious.